haven't gotten the opportunity to see it be too impactful, but here is a brand new opportunity for it to do so. Uh, we've talked about Blastoise so much, and uh, the European region brackets were actually where a lot of this, uh, not just the Registeel, but the Blastoise was coming through as well, uh, along with the Registeel Landorus that had become ever so prevalent. So really want to see uh, this execution. You know, FFC was one of the first people putting it together and, and played it very well. There was a couple Blastoise in their bracket, um, just the region bracket, and we didn't get to see one in motion. So this is something I do want to see it. Um, I want to see it in full force, and, and I want to see it standing alongside Venusaur and of course Charizard that have been representing in their G-Max form. I mean, we can always hope, but it is going to be having to take down some huge threats on Renzo's side. There is that Regieleki there. I mean, we've seen just how much work Regieleki can put in and that Landorus is definitely going to be something to go up against. That Landorus and Moltres have been causing players so many issues. So, I mean, the Splash says it's for cut out for it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's got a lot to work through if you're the Blastoise. <laughs> to find that safe spot, Regieleki, of course, a huge problem to something like that. Um, you're just not able to outspeed it and you're just not able to, to take that damage. So uh, a lot to be asked for. The Registeel Landorus, though, has been perfectly executed by Fevzi and, and a number of players, but I think his execution of it really starts to, to set the tone for what you can expect from a team like this. And we're just gonna take a look as we head into the game and see what the perfect execution of a team like this could be. Renzo has a lot of things to answer and think about, and he'll be trying to do that with a little more defensive lead, I think it's safe to say. Of course, this is our last winner's round one match, and it's going to be a cat fight. And Cinnaroar's hitting the field on both ends. Renzo pairing it up with that Amoongus. And is he going for that double intimidate? We're going to see that Landorus and that Incineroar combination. And just a reminder, 1-0 scoreboard so far for Febzi. So it is time for Renzo to make an impact here. Yeah, Renzo's got to really come out and, and swing this one as quickly as possible coming into this game. But Febzi's got so many things going on on his team. The double intimidate, not that impactful in this one, of course. None of the big kind of physical attackers you want to see when you lead with a double intimidate option like this. But putting himself in a good position, you know, not really too many threats, has options to deal with the Amoongus as well, which is something you don't want to leave on the field for too long. So, uh, uh, a lot of options. We do get to look at all four of Fetzi's Pokemon nice and early on. The Registeel is there. Uh, we've seen, of course, the, uh, the potential that Landorus has to, to cause problems, um, especially when you get the Registeel swapped in next to it as well. So, I really like this um, from Fevzi and Renzo. You know, playing it very, very safe, Trying to kind of figure out how to work through this one uh, could cause some problems and clearly uh, a little bit too safe there as well. Fevzi, not the only one with that double Intimidate. Renzo going to be swapping out that Incineroar into the Landorus. Of course, the Incineroar Intimidate didn't really get too much of an impact as Fevzi does have the White Herb, but this Landorus is able to actually apply a little more pressure. So at a negative one, Fevzi now going for a Sword Stance, looking to try and raise up his attack in face of all of these boosts. But this is definitely these, something these players are going to have to work around. Like, like potential threat all the time of these intimidates. Uh, there's so much intimidate going on, and it's one of the best ways to deal with the Landorus uh, Therian. You know, obviously you're intimidating other Landorus, and, and then you're putting yourself in a good position. But Fevzi understanding that that might be something that's coming through and just setting up that sword stance, making sure that he's able to keep doing all of the work that his Landorus has been doing in previous sets in the region finals, uh, just putting on that pressure and forcing Renzo into a lot of switches around intimidate. This is something I think uh, people have been doing for absolutely years. Once you get used to it, once you execute it properly, you can, yes, make games slower, but you can make it so hard for your opponent to efficiently land damage. It's absolutely huge, um, you know, when you're able to, to kind of go through that one uh, and play through the whole thing. But Fevzi, you know, made up for those Intimidate drops with the Swords Dance as well, making sure that he's still in a really good position to use this Landorus to the best of his abilities. Yeah, the revolving door of Intimidates. Not slowing this Landorus down. Is it going to go for the max? Renzo opted to keep this Amoongus safe in the face of this Landorus and correctly predicted as it is going to be taking a max airstream through the protect, but Fezzi getting that speed control right off of the bat. I mean, this Landorus is at neutral, but being able to get those 
speed boost up is definitely impactful. And Incineroar looking to just swap out Parting Shot into the opposing Incineroar just to give Fevzi an opportunity to start repivoting his Pokemon and to be bringing that Registeel in safely. Uh, looking at these teams, obviously they both have the double Intimidate option in Landorus and Incineroar. So there's so much to think about for both of these trainers and this really should be uh, an interesting game to look at how something like Double Intimidate plays in this current meta game as well. You know, it's been around in previous years. It's going to be coming back very, very clearly with two fine trainers running it um, in this tournament. So definitely something to be thinking about. And I want to watch the execution. How much does Renzo commit to just keeping this Landorus down? It can only Swords Dance, uh, you know, once before it Dynamaxes. It could go for more, but you don't usually have enough time. So if you can then start to keep that down, yes, Fevzi will be getting the speed boost but he won't be able to capitalize off the damage. Now the Registeel's an interesting mix-up. Of course, Body Press relying on the defense stat. You boost that up with Iron Defense. The Intimidate doesn't work as well there. So you've just got to be so careful about it. Um, you know, and this Registeel comes in, and it's not feeling too good about that. But this Landorus is still just able to start throwing out Max Airstreams and pick up the first knockout of the game. Yeah, no Intimidate swap means that this Airstream is going to be picking up the KO on the Amoongus, which I feel like that Amoongus was a way to really maybe potentially pressure with these spores into the opposing side. So getting that, getting rid of that definitely helpful. Um, and I mean, another speed boost to boot. So Registeel, unfortunately being faked out, doesn't have the opportunity to go for the Iron Defense this turn, but definitely still in a decent position again especially against two physical attackers it can start boosting this defense on of course i mean if it gets the iron defense down it's in a really good position um it's not getting intimidated either so I mean, it doesn't matter about the the threat of intimidate and i think that's going to be huge um you know clear body just says well you can't just lower my stats so you've got to find a way to to get through um everything i'm doing so you know it's it's going to be a tough one to do with this Registeel, and once again, something we looked at in previous executions of this Landorus and Registeel combination is, as long as your Registeel is getting speed boosts alongside the Landorus, you can put yourself in a really, really good position. Of course, the Registeel has to respect both of the Pokémon on Renzo's side, the Incineral Landorus. Both offer a damaging threat to it, but it's going to be moving potentially before them. It's got one speed boost, it may just get another one as well, as this Landorus already has two speed boosts. Uh, so just being able to, to capitalize off that, putting it in a really good position, and Renzo finally realizing, yeah, I also need to, to get things set up a little bit here with a Dynamax of my own. So mixing it up, um, you know, not really mixing it up, it's another Landorus he's Dynamaxing, <laughs> um, but finally getting his own potential Max Airstreams into play with a Landorus that hasn't been hit by as many Intimidates as, as Fevzi's, but Fevzi, of course, working in that Swords Dance earlier on has been uh, really, really impactful and gets to add some speed boosts uh, to it as well. I was about to say, where are you seeing this mix-up? Because I'm just seeing a Landorus versus Landorus showdown. And of course, Revzi's Landorus, already equipped with this speed boost, does get the opportunity to fire first with a max airstream. And getting Registeel in this position that it is outspeeding as well. So speedy Registeel back out to play, getting the opportunity to set up an iron defense before Renzo's own Landorus gets to fire back with its own airstream boost. No mix-up here. I've seen this before. Both Landorus is just fighting to be the fastest and Incineroar just looking to slow Fevzi's down as much as it can in a different way getting a parting shot off of it and being able to pivot out. This whole game has been about lowering stats and I think this is why the Registeel is going to be so important because you just can't do that with clear body. Of course that final max airstream from the side of Fevzi was really you know low damage but more impactful of being able to land that extra speed boost. That's now two speed boosts in favor of the Registeel from early on. So now this Landorus has taken uh, taken its lumps, it's taken its Intimidates and Parting Shots. You know, you can switch it out, you can really reset it for a little bit later. Start throwing down some opposing Intimidates since we got a sneak preview there in the menu. Now this Registeel is terrifyingly fast for a Registeel. It's got two speed boosts, probably would have liked to hit the Incineroar here. And Renzo, really smart to look ahead and go, you know what, I don't want you to hit that so comfortably. I am just going to make sure that I, I switch that out um, and are then able to to push on a little bit with, with something like the Tapu Fini because when you go to open team sheet, once again, you know what your opponent has and uh, the register really can't threaten the Tapu Fini all that much. Uh, so it should be in a, a solid position to kind of try and buy some time for Renzo, uh, even though, you know, down a Pokemon. 
Yeah, buying the time is what Fevzi's also going to be going for here in Cinnaror, swapping in for the lander. So all of those speed boosts are lost, but as well, all of the attack drops, and more importantly, being able to get an Intimidate off on Renzo's landers to be trying to slow that up. And Registeel just going for the Protect, not wanting to risk any big hits here. It already has the speed boost, it has the defense boost, doesn't need to risk too much else, and rightfully so. So this lander is going for the Max Quake into it, be it daily, barely any damage, and leaving Fezzi in a position to start trying to set that up as much as he can for this end game of course i have to be sticking around wants to stay on the field with all these speed boosts and that stabufini doesn't really know what's coming i think stabufini may be struggling a little bit when that rillaboom comes in from the back that we are privy to of course renzo is not right now but this has been a really slow and steady game from from both of these trainers um just trying to find those positions you know limit the the impact of the dynamax from both trainers uh, with the intimidates this registeel kind of being forced onto the back foot i mean that protect really wise there almost back to full health but now it's faced with kind of the same thing again and something we talked about uh, in previous games where you get these double landers if you're not max air streaming consistently enough and you're trying to weave in like max quakes you can fall behind in the speed race so you know it's only going to be uh, two max air streams out of all of this um, which means it's still only two speed boosts and, and not getting all that far ahead uh, so really trying to cause problems there in, in the wisest way possible. Two speed boost speed. All it really needs, though, at least does get an opportunity to get some damage into the Incineroar. But more importantly, that fake out as well as the Sand Tomb into that Tapu Fini. So the Tapu Fini looks last turn to be setting up with the Calm Mine uh, to try and set up for a potential end game as well. But is going to be taking that residual damage from the Sand Tomb going forward. Tabufini though is uh, you know gonna struggle a little bit with that sand tomb I think um, this Landorus could just be really low impact it's kind of in the same boat Fevzi's was a little bit earlier on right where it made it through those Dynamax turns but it had uh, taken so many Intimidates it's gonna take a parting shot for its troubles potentially here you know you do have to switch it out and start resetting that attack stat and over the course of these global finals I, I think it'd be very interesting to see how well Landorus does against teams that have uh, options to intimidate and lower its stats and how well it doesn't because if you can't lower its stats it can just start to really run away with the game so something to look out for over the course of the next couple of days and, and how uh, this one gets played out consistently but look the rock slide doing very little damage after all of these hits and Registeel not taking any damage at all as he's keeping it safe with that protect so Incineroar, it took that rock slide very well, but it's not going to be taking this boosted muddy water from the Tapu Fini quite as well. So it is going to be taken out, but that does give Fevzi the opportunity to be freely switching in to one of his Pokemon in the back. Ah, switch it right in and, and, you know, try and capitalize on it. The Rillaboom there immediately hovered. You see how quickly <laughs> uh, he navigates down on that one in the menu, knowing exactly, um, you know, that the Tapu Fini's not able to, to really go anywhere and, and deal with that. So, um, you know, this really could just start causing problems and, and just try and push on from there. Uh, so kind of good forward thinking play with that sand doom, um, being able to, to try and play around that, make sure you land uh, the right moves at the right time, uh, should be able to, to deal with the type of Fini. And the Flanderous, you know, it has to probably start considering the switch pretty soon just because it's been caught by, by so many Intimidates now. And Tapu Fini, seeing the pressure from the Rillaboom, going to protect, but Landorus, instead of switching out, also opting to stay safe, going to be going for that fly. So getting the opportunity to be missing the body press from this Registeel, I mean, its defense is increased. It is definitely scary, but neither of Fantasy's Pokemon being able to connect and attack this turn. No, no attacks coming down from Fevzi's side, uh, but, you know, Renzo able to get out of the way of that body press, certainly going to help out a little bit there. Um, but you're kind of still in a, a similar position, right? It's like, you've still got your Tapu Fini in against this Rillaboom, uh, and that's not particularly great news. You know, this Landorus is still going to struggle a little bit against, um, you know, just being able to deal the damage while intimidated, even though the fly definitely heading towards that Rillaboom, definitely super effective. Uh, certainly going to be a bit of a problem. So uh, tough, tough corner for Renzo to be in, I think, um, especially with another Intimidate available 
from Fevzi's side as well, so Atlanderus would get caught out. And no switching here. Uh, this could get really close to an end of the game, as that type of Fini is easily felled. Well, I feel like this Tapu Fini, um, the Registeel is able to like boost up its defense, but not a special attack. So, got to take out the Tapu Fini, but in return, critical hit from this attack drop. Landorus is going to take out this Rillaboom in one shot, but is going to take a big body press in return. So, definitely hurts with that Rillaboom taking out, but at the same time, the Rillaboom was able to take care of the Tapu Fini before going, which is definitely a huge perf there. Yep, getting rid of that Tapu Fini, really important to allow this Landorus to come in. Of course, this Landorus is going to be own, or dropping its own Intimidate first onto two physical attackers. Really, really nice when you're trying to pair it up with the Registeel. Um, the Registeel, which of course has been uh, boosted by the Iron Defense. Uh, Registeel not caring about the Intimidate. Yes, you get one Intimidate back on uh, Fevzi's Landorus. But that's nothing compared to Landorus on Renzo's side of the field. So uh, certainly some options. It's going to buy some time uh, with a fake out here. Uh, try and slow down one Pokemon. It's going to be the Registeel, uh, but that does leave uh, the, the Landorus over on, on Fevzi's side free to, to do exactly what it wants. Well, one of the things it wanted to do is potentially pick up the KO on Landorus, but Renzo keeping that safe yet again, going for the fly. The Incineroar is going to take a bit of chip damage in return, though. But, I mean, I feel like the big threat on the field is this Registeel at the moment. Yeah, the Registeel is just going to be able to body press the Incineroar for a knockout. So the fake out buys you a turn. But I don't think the damage is there, especially after that Iron Defense and the Intimidate, um, you know, at all. Landorus gets taken pretty low. And actually, Landorus on Renzo's side of the field knocks itself out for its troubles. That means this Registeel still start with its speed boost from earlier, by the way. <laughs> does just get to body press this Incineroar and, of course, show... Uh, just how good it is after those boosts. So Fevzi only needed one game to do it, but put on a really good game. I think